Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. So I'm continuing my uh, perfume series by brand. So basically it is videos where I talk about one brand of perfume. Uh, I, talk to, I will talk to you about the ones that I own, the ones I owned, the ones I smelled. And yeah, I'm not the kind of person to give you all the notes. I'm just telling you the feeling of the perfume, how much it lasts. I show you the bottle of the ones I don't have. And yeah, if you have more questions, just put them in the comment below and I will answer them with pleasure. So I already did YSL, Dior and Thierry Mugler. So if you want to watch these ones, just search for them in my videos. Um, so yes, what else did I want to say? No, nothing. Let's get started. So today I'm going to talk about Bulgari. Bulgari is one of my favorite brands of perfumes because to me they are very very original. Um, should I start like by a downer? Yeah, because otherwise I will forget. I don't know one Bulgari perfume that has a good lasting power. Like the, some of them are okay to okay plus lasting power, but it's never like Alien from Thierry Mugler. It doesn't like last until the next day. To me, they are not like, even like the extreme ver versions, the more concentrated versions, they still kind of fade away. Some people may say like they reach their last note, but I'm not the kind of person who says this kind of stuff. <laughs> so let's start by one that I owned and uh, it was Ro Rose Essentiel from Bulgari. I will add you a picture. Um, so it was a rose perfume that is musky, it was, it is a rose perfume that is musky. It's very, very good one because uh, the rose is not too strong if you don't like rose that much, in my opinion. And uh, it's kind of musky, it has this sexy depth, it's not too sweet, it's just like very, very classy. Mm. All Bulgarian perfumes to me are classy, all of them are like amazing they don't do really outrageous scents so scents scents so uh yeah but i don't own it anymore i actually gave it away to a girlfriend because um you know with me if i use a perfume during a period of time where i'm not really happy or like uh i'm not with the right people and i resmell it it just brings me back and when I was wearing this perfume, it was like just bad vibes in my life. You know, everyone has bad, uh, ups and downs. But I'm the kind of person that gets rid of everything. But I think that Rose Essentiel is a very good perfume. It's uh, suitable for a lot of ages. It's just very, very classy and sensual, I would say. I had Jasmin Noir, the usual one, the Eau de Parfum. I really, really like it. But now I have Jasmin Noir L'Essence, which looks like that. Um, so basically, it's jasmine perfume. So yeah, Jasmin Noir, jasmine, black jasmine. I really, really like it because it has this animalic note. It's a bit woody. It's just very, very good, very, very deep. It's a good jasmine perfume. It's even an amazing jasmine perfume, I would say. To me, one of the best ones out there. Honestly, it's very, very good. I really, really like the scent of it. It's amazing. It's just very, very dark. That's the word. It's like dark jasmine. Maybe that's why it's called black jasmine, jasmine noir. Yeah. The difference in between this one and the other one, the usual black jasmine, honestly, I don't remember, but when I smell this one, to me, it smells almost quite similar to the other one. And uh, when I was watching the notes on Fragrantica, just to make sure that I'm not telling you the absolute bullshit. So, um, uh, and yeah, I was pretty much right there. Have pretty much the same notes. Not exactly, exactly, but I mean, the vibe is the same. I think Jasmine Noir was such a success. And like with all perfumes, with all brands that are a success, they do like 20 knockoffs. How would you call them? Like different variation with a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that. It's very, very good. It evolves very, very well. And it's very, very sexy. And I really like it. Oh, 
parfumé au thé blanc. I think I'm gonna, because it's like French titles, I'm gonna put uh, the, how it's written down here. So uh, this one was discontinued for a while and now it's back again. Uh, this is my second um, bottle. I really, really like it. It's just like, look, how I would describe it. You know uh, Dolce, Gab uh, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue, which is like a light citrus summery scent, but with still some depth. This is the same thing, but it doesn't smell like lemon. It smells like white tea. You know, like imagine cold white tea. That is how it smells like. Uh, if you don't, don't know what white tea is, it's like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, please, please, I'm not an expert. It's like um, the noble part of the green tea. It's a little bit different. So uh, yeah, the notes of it, I'm pretty sure, are just like white tea and amber or something. It's, but to me, yeah, it just smells like white tea. Uh, I get a lot of compliments uh, on this perfume. To me, it's only a daytime summer perfume. I would never wear this in winter. It has this kind of uh, very nice, lo fresh lingerie scent. You know, like clean lingerie scent. So yeah, and um, that's all I have to say about that. I also own, but I don't own anymore, um, the same version, but Té Vert. So green tea. It's kind of the same thing, but it smells more of green tea. Like a cold green tea, you smell it and it smells pretty much like this. Uh, then you're like, why would you want to smell like tea? Well, because tea smells pretty damn good and it's just like this really, really fresh, healthy scent. I really like it and uh, come on, you have to think to put a tea in a scent. I think it's a very good idea. Then I have the original Omnia. I'm pretty sure this is discontinued but I'm not 100% sure, let me know. And I think it's the best perfume that Bulgari ever made. Uh, now they have like um, loads of Omnias. I smelled uh, most of them, but none of, but when I was watching the list of them, I know I smelled at least like three or four or five, but none of them were as good, but none of them were as good as this one to me. The other one, there is like the crystalline one, the amethyst one. I don't know. I smell them all and they're just fresher. This one, it's like a sweet, spicy, woody, but like with a really, really strange kick. And by the way, I'm like cherishing the bottle, but I don't like the bottle. Let me just say this. I do not like the bottle of this one. Like, what the fuck is that? I shouldn't really swear, but you know, YOLO. Why do I say YOLO? And it smells like, you're gonna think I'm strange, but I really like original fragrances. Christmas spices. What kind of gingerbread? It does smell kind of like gingerbread. What do you think? It's like, yes, yeah, sweet, woody, uh, spicy. I said it 200 times. Okay, so this is all for my Bulgari perfumes. Uh, tell me which is your favorite Bulgari perfume. And uh, let me know which brand would you want me to do next and all of that stuff. I absolutely love read your to read your comments. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I absolutely appreciate it a lot, like a lot, seriously. So thank you so much for watching. I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Bye.